Hey guys, Big Anthony here, Friday, April 9th, 2021. We're out here at the van. I have the Rock Pals panel out here in the sun. And it's a little overcast today and cloudy, but the sun is popping out. Like right now, it's out pretty good. And so we've got that hooked to the Jackery battery. So like I've been saying, and a lot of my videos have been showing over the past... Uh, week and a half I guess maybe maybe even longer that um, I've been running the battery the Jackery Explorer 1000 usually from the late afternoon through the evening into the morning uh, running the Dometic refrigerator which is right here and as you guys can see I moved it from its spot uh, right there which was behind the driver's seat and right now I have the toilet there the Dometic oh, excuse me the Thetford curve toilet and that's similar to an RV style toilet. It's not, a, I don't know if it's considered a cassette toilet. It's a little bit higher than a cassette toilet. And then my Lifesaver water jug is right there, just tethered in right behind the bowl. Uh, just a fold out snack tray there. I've got the battery just, you know, right there on that little piece of wood. I'm just messing with this little, my little carry kitchen there. I've got my little holder with forks and spoons and knives. And then I'm putting some essentials in there. There's some chicken breasts, some sardines, and one of my favorite tunas, which is, let me grab it, right here. So Genova Italian tuna in olive oil. I love that. And so I just have that, those things in there. That's just sitting there right now because I'm, I'm messing with it and working with it. And then the little soft chuck box here that I have the strap just around my hard truck box i showed you guys that the other day so that's all still in their same spot actually this i moved it it was over here where the fridge was and i put it over here now so now that the refrigerator's here it's a it's a lot easier for me to you know open it of course because it's right here and grab things that are inside of it and there you see, I put some mustard and ketchup in there today. Again, got some eggs, just some of the same things I had last time. So, and then a lot of my dry goods and canned goods are under the bed. And then what I would do with this little carry tote here, this would be my working kitchen stuff I know I'm eating, uh, like uh, oatmeal, stuff that I have out, peanut butter, jelly, tuna. All I need is a loaf of bread or some pita can you know make a tuna sandwich peanut butter and jelly sandwich and um, that'd be uh, good I got my hot plate and my and my uh, boil my water boil plate there the little electric boiler under those napkins right there and then in here I've got my kettle and I've got my uh, somewhere down here is my oatmeal yeah instant coffee and right down there is a Tupperware with Bob's Red Mill oatmeal, so I could grab that. That's usually a go-to in the morning. Uh, oatmeal, coffee, banana, some nuts, and I'm pretty much good to go. Once in a while, maybe a little later in the morning, I'll have some eggs. Uh, but that's um, basically the setup now, and that gives me all this room here behind the refrigerator. I've got some water I could just reach for easily. My stove is right there alongside the refrigerator. It's just tethered against this thing here. The water was just under this little thing here like that. So these adjustable, um, I forget what they call these. I got them on QVC, I got two of them. They, they stretch a good distance and you could, you could adjust the, the end buckles to anywhere you want them to get the tension that you desire. So I have two eyelets on the bed and so this refrigerator you know, the weight alone holds it, but it's also tethered in. And then my other gear is the same as I had it before. You know, the little medical kit or the medicine cabinet, hanging medicine cabinet, fuel for my stove, a little Scott towel there. And then I move my trash can right here. So it's, it's right here, I can throw trash in it. And then I just set up my snack table and I could be right out here cooking 
and reach for the refrigerator, reach for whatever I need. It's right in reach. I don't even have to climb into the, into the vehicle and I can get anything I want. And so the battery is charging. Right now it's getting, the sun's kind of went in. It was getting like 35, 40 watts from this 100 watt Rock Pals panel. I bought some suction cups today on Amazon. I think they're coming Sunday. And what I plan to do with those is those eyelets in the panel there and there, the cup suction cups have a little clip. So I would clip one, two there. They're heavy duty suction cups for paddle boards. And then I'll put the suction cup right on the glass window here, depending what side of the van the sun is on. Could even go on the front windshield and drape it down. And that way the panel can hang, uh, get away from the, uh, get it off the floor and um, get sun that way. I've seen that. So I bought a pair of those heavy duty suction cups. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with those. And um, there's Teddy. He's being such a good boy today. Hey, Teddy, did you say hello to everybody? Huh? Yeah, you're a good boy. You haven't been in many videos lately. But Teddy's my little 100% sidekick, partner, whatever you want to call him. Don't touch the panel, boy. He's going after that bug. And I usually just keep him, because he'll chase after other dogs, I just keep his leash tethered right there. And uh, give him, you know, enough. Sometimes he's in the van hanging out. Today he's just outside. But I wanted to do uh, this video just to get it up there, show you a little bit reorganization that I did. And I'm always messing around, but I like, I had it set up similar to this. When I lived in Florida, I had the refrigerator here. I like it here. You could also use this as like a prep top, although I wouldn't recommend prepping food like on the lid itself. There's a little plastic thing here. What I have is this little snack tray. I just fold the legs. Let me move these cushions down here. I just fold the legs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the uh, hobby shop, Hobby Lobby, and get some rubber and put it along the bottom edge there, right around the edge, just so it doesn't scratch over here when it goes on the edge of the refrigerator and it's a little more quiet. But I could put this right here and, you know, I could actually put my stove on here, you know, cups, saucers, hot, you know, it, it won't bother the refrigerator at all. It's a barrier. And so I could leave that. And then if I'm in my bed, you know, at night and I'm hanging out, I could leave this here as like a little area to put stuff to get up and grab like a little um, cabinet area just to grab stuff I want. Um, and that's right there. And so what we're going to do tonight is Teddy and I are going to hang out in the van and sleep in it. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to use the toilet. We're going to do some reviews on that, you know, usage wise, and give you guys some more feedback on it. Haven't used it in a while. And uh, that way you get a feel for, you know, a van toilet, how it operates. And so basically everything's right here that I need at my fingertips. Uh, again, if it was raining, I have the awning. I could pull out prior to boondocking or whatever I'm going to do. And uh, that way I could stand out under here and prepare whatever I'm going to prepare. And see how Teddy loves it. He just loves van life. He'll hang out with me all day, all night, no matter what. He just loves adventuring. And those two little things there, those I have inside around the deck and around the porch area, they're just um, little solar. There's a solar panel here, and then this is a LED that pops on when the sun goes down, when it gets dark. And I took two of them. You could hang them. You could stick them with double stick tape. And so these, if you're in your van, you could put them out at night. You know, so you have a little night light out in your van. You could hang it with a little magnetic piece. You could, you know, just lay it on the track of the van, lay it on a fender, whatever. And uh, you got a little night light. But these are good. They And they generally, if they get good sun during the day, they'll last right through the night into the wee hours of the morning or, you know, right before sunrise. So I just got those sitting out here. I'm going to hang on to those. My wife doesn't know it yet, but. She won't miss them, I don't think. But yeah, so 
That's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Questions, comments. Um, again, I'm doing this van series as I make changes and adjustments. And um, again, I'm running the battery, the jack, the jackery. I'm switching from the truck solar. You know, later tonight, about six o'clock, I'll I'll switch it over to the jackery battery, and I'll run the refrigerator with that off the uh, van solar. Take it off the van solar and then run it on the the Jackery Explorer 1000. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Stay ready. Hope you're getting some good ideas and and tips. And uh, again, let me know what you do if you've got a van or a camper or whatever. And um, you know, share your ideas in the comments section. Like and share the video. Take care. And uh, from me. And my best buddy, Teddy, take care and stay ready. Anthony signing off.